Well, this is this is an obstructive ultrasound in which you are seeing a uterus with a fluid-filled uh, endometrial canal that measures 11.4 centimeter by 5.3 centimeter and lied minimally as uh, the measurement for the normal maximum is 11 into 5 centimeters. This is a small amount of fluid. This is the partially filled urinary bladder. Posterior to the uterus and extending into the uh, region of the right adenexa is seen fluid. There is a history of uh, two months in menorrhea, according to the patient, and uh, she gives the history of induced abortion. She opted for abortion. This is the transfer section of the uterus. This is the endometrial canal, and the endometrial canal may is 16.4 millimeter normal is up to 14 millimeters with fluid seen within the endometrial canal. This is the uterus in transfer section. There is no gestational sac seen within the uterine cavity. However, now there is seen uh, sac. shape structure in the region of the right adenexa surrounded by fluid now this is all fluid and this is a sac, this is the gestational sac outside the Ukraine uterus in the region of the right adenexa surrounded by a fluid which is in fact a bleed and this sac measures approximately 1.82 millimeters. Fetal pole is seen. Here you see that this is the fetal pole within this gestational sac having a double decidual reaction or trophoblastic reaction. This white band around the cystic area is the double decidual reaction or trophoblastic reaction. This is the sac and here you see this is the fetal pole outside the uterus in the right adenexa. and evident, you can see cardiac activity within the fetus. This is, suggest these are, this is the cardiac activity seen in the fetal pole, suggesting that the age of the gestation is approximately seven to eight weeks because cardiac flicker appears at about uh, seven weeks gestational age. And we do see cardiac activity. Here you see the cardiac activity now. Here it is. This is this waveform is consistent with 
the cardiac conductivity within this fetal pole in the gestational sac measuring 1.8 centimeters and surrounded by a fluid all around and is extra uterine in the right adenexal region. So this is a case of uh, extra uterine seven to eight week uh, pregnancy, ectopic and ruptured See the fluid, see the amount of fluid in the pelvic cavity. This is all fluid in the pelvic cavity. This is the uterus and the and here comes the sac within the pelvic cavity and surrounded by on all sides with fetal pole seen within it showing cardiac activity so This is, in fact, a case of ruptured ectopic pregnancy with the fluid in the pelvic cavity as well as the gestational sac within the fluid, gestational sac within the fluid with viable fetus, fetal pole with cardiac activity seen and this uh, uh, band of uh, tissue is the double decidual erection which is intact. The fetal pole shows cardiac activity corresponding to the gestational age of uh, seven to eight weeks. Now there is another cystic area seen. This is another cystic area seen. This is the uterus in transfer section. This is the endometrial canal and this is the cystic structure seen on the left side. This consists with measures approximately 16 millimeters and is a follicular cyst in fact uh, relating to the left ovary. Now here comes the view and there you can see the gestational sac. This is the gestational sac. This is all fluid that is bleed. So this is a case of ruptured ectopic pregnancy uh, at uh, seven to eight weeks gestational age with intact fetal, with fetal pole uh, giving the cardiac flicker and surrounded this gestational sac is surrounded by fluid that is bleed in fact.